So what I want us to do is to start becoming more conscious, start choosing things in a better way for ourselves, and start creating a life that's going to gear us to really take advantage of the opportunities that are going to show up for us in the, the years to come. This podcast is brought to you by The Integrated Human. We work up, down, inside out to plug yourself into your potential. If you want to see what we are up to and what's next, sign up to our newsletter or follow us on social media. If you like what we are doing, we really appreciate it if you can like our post on social media and YouTube and help us grow. All right. Welcome to the Big and Small Podcast. I'm Jason Shields, and I'm big. And I'm Marit Gabrielsen, and I'm a tiny one. Yes. Welcome back into the hot seat. The last episode of 2022. Woo. Woo. Whoa. 22 has been amazing. Yeah. Meditation <laughs> events, <laughs> processes, success, failures, suffering, releasing suffering, helping tons of people. Man, we've had a great <laughs> year. And when we say great, everything in the integrated life is total. Yes. Which means highs and lows, which means ups and downs, which means winning and losing. Because if you're not losing somewhere, you're not trying hard enough. That's the way it is, right? But it's about always finding that next step. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of that, um, I have this thing. Of course you do. Yes. What, what's, what's the thing? <laughs> now, you know, you've heard me talk about the highlight life, that one of the issues that I have with Instagram and Facebook and all this stuff is that you basically see a moment in time, you see a highlight video, and people, in a way, look at these things, especially when you're young, you look at these videos of, let's say, an athlete, and you see a highlight video, and you, in a way experience that as the way they are mm -hmm. when that's actually just a distillation it's like a compilation of those best moments of thousands of hours of competition for example you may get like a three minute highlight yeah. right the same thing is that when we look at a face our face is beautiful as a face our faces are beautiful as humans tells a story tells a story, right? I mean, one of the great actors from um, Braveheart, for example, has a huge scar across his face. The, f the fact that he has a huge scar across his face makes him very identifiable. I mean, your unique signature on the, on the world is you. Instead of trying to be like an ideal, make who you are so significant that you become iconic, mm -hmm. right? That's the whole point. So when we all are having to put our face out and put a filter on or touch it up or all this, it's in a way, again, living part of this highlight life, that the realness, the realness, it's kind of like you almost are hungry for realness at some point. Yeah, uh, you see a transition there. Yeah, you People see. People want it. more and more real stuff. Yeah. I've been uh, looking at, Oh, social media game is not the best. No. Uh, it's not where we focus. It's on. not where I focus. And you can focus three, three, three areas in your life, yeah. 100%, and that's not one of them. No. So thank you for everybody that likes our posts. Yes. <laughs> they are. And share them. Thank and you share so them much. Because they, yeah. they take some work because that's not where we focus. So to yeah. make them actually exactly. require some effort. Yes. Um, and it's... I, I kind of try to, to find out what, what people what people want. Mm -hmm. And the general term now is that people want more real. That's why stories are more and more popular, mm -hmm. real-life story. But then you also see people have real-life story, but they have, like you said, they have fixed themselves all up and, yeah. and stuff. So um, I prefer more the the real stuff that's not real to be real. It's just what it is. Yeah, it's what it is. Because exactly. they also have the... the the kind of the, the opposite again, like people trying to be too too real that it's not real anymore. Yeah. Yeah. They're, 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 they're <laughs> up -real it. I'm so real. I'm so real. I'm so real. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. And and it becomes fake in every direction, right? It becomes in a way 
man-made instead of just beingness, mm. realness, isness. And that's, that's really the thing. And, and the issue with this is that what if I told you that there were, you know, a thousand dollars in that envelope and you believed me and then you knew that that envelope was filled with a thousand dollars and then you were basically betting on the fact that it was a thousand dollars and then when you go out and you're going to spend it there's a hundred bucks in there yeah it could get you in trouble right mm -hmm. because you're counting on the fact that it's a thousand dollars thousand dollars and everybody understands that and nobody would think that you were a bad person for being angry because I told you there's a thousand bucks in there and there's a hundred dollars in there. You're getting burned, sister. You got a hundred bucks. <laughs> you got a hundred bucks. Yeah, right? That 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 right there, that's the positive way thing. You got a hundred bucks, <laughs> you right? You got a hundred bucks. Yep. And you're not going to put yourself in a position where that thousand dollars makes the difference. I'm not right? going to check first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I right? would check first. Yeah, of course. You'd count it, right? But the whole point is you can't check people's Facebook posts you can't check their instagram posts you can't check what's actually in the envelope they present it as a thousand bucks they present it as this is the way a man is this is what a woman should expect this is the way this girls is, look this is this, this, is, is, this is, is this is exactly and you can't check the envelope and then you're like oh you know when i start jujitsu it's going to look like this or when i go dancing it's going to be like this or when i do this or even worse, the other opposite, which is I could never, I could never do that. I can never be that. I can never look like that. I can never accomplish that, accomplish that because it's so over the top that you don't realize that that's a compilation of thousands of hours of practice, right? You look at people doing art online and you're like, oh my God. But you never saw their first drawing. You never saw their first drawing. And you also don't necessarily understand that that picture that they are finishing on Instagram, the last three strokes, and they pan out and you see this, oh my God, it's a masterpiece. They've been working on that damn thing for five years. And they're just finishing it on Instagram like it's something they whipped out this weekend, right? And that makes it so difficult for people to orientate themselves in life. Oh, it's very difficult. Like we can bring up the story that I told you with my uh, my niece. That's a confer, conf yeah, her confirmation. Confirmation, yeah. Yeah, please do. Because uh, uh, I have no no toes into the the youths. <laughs> you know, you, the youths. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I, I I have no kids. Uh, I I don't have any younger sisters. I don't have any any. Toast there, but I do have a have a, a niece. Yeah, you have a niece. That's very cool niece. Very cool, cool niece. She's a confirmation. That she three, has three nieces. I have three. Yeah. I have three. Uh, the two oldest one are grown ups. And yep. The other one is the third one is growing up, and uh, she was she's doing her confirmation, and she had this uh, church thing, and I was uh, being a supportive aunt and being there and and, and just sitting there and she's a talented like, singer by the way and i like yeah and i like the i like the ceremonies anyways i yeah. love ceremonies no matter what so i figured well it's a free ceremony on a thursday so why not yeah and all i can relate to when it comes to teenagers is online and all i see there is those 15 year olds that look like they're 26 or 30 or 30 and i feel like holy shit when i look at that and that's kind of what i've been relating to yeah so for me that's the youths of today yeah i mean what, what what's that what's that uh that series that vampire series you're talking about vampire diaries no not vampire diaries but the the one that the, the big books that uh, twilight twilight yeah and that's then you see old, the movies yeah but you know that's that's, that's super that's, old it's kind of 15 years old yeah but that's what i'm saying it's 15 years old but the people in there were like high school students yeah in right? the book yeah in the book but you see the actors? Oh yeah, they they were my age. Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, they look they're super yeah, jacked. But you never okay. have, anyways. Anyway, it's the same. But yeah, you think that that's a fifteen year old? That's yeah, not it's a kind of you look at the people that play One Tree Hill, and you think yeah. they're, they're fifteen year olds when they play it, and they're twenty five. They're so, twenty five. Yes, but on. in anyway, on Instagram and stuff, you find these young beautiful people that yeah. know how to dress and makeup and layer everything and highlight. I don't know what that's called, even, and they. That's I'm like is that's the youth, and that was not yeah. how it was when I grew up. And then I come to this church thing, 
and it's a bunch, everybody that's going to have a confirmation this year is there. And I just fell in love with everybody there. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're just as hopeless. They're just as crazy. They're just as confused. As awkward. As awkward. You have the girl that, that wears her daddy's leather man jacket. You have the boys flirting with the, with the girls. It's, it was amazing. And none of them looked like Instagram. No, and I was so happy. I was yeah. sitting there smiling yep. and laughing, just of pure joy, not at them, because I just, I, it gave me hope for the future. Yes, <laughs> and you saw this this boy that you know it doesn't is in between puberty, kind of haven't hit it yet. Some of his friends has because they're two meters tall, and this kid hasn't quite hit it yet. But the girls are kind of cute. And he's got giant heads, skinny necks, big hands, yes. and short backs. Yes. Like what? <laughs> what that, yes. What, what, and he's <laughs> looking. He's eyeing yeah. these girls. Yeah. Because he's eyeing. Because I was looking at these girls. Because checking that my that my niece was doing fine, and she was of course on her phone, like all of them. And and you see this this boy. He's looking at them. And then he looks, and he stands there for a while, and then he goes over to the chair in front of them, and he throws himself backwards. And ends up in their lap. And of course, a girl screams and it's a chaos. And, and he's like, oh my God. <laughs> and I, you just could see the setup. It was amazing. It was strange hairdos. It was too many layers, too few layers. Someone that doesn't care. Someone that cares Awkward a little bit too action. much. It was, I was so happy to see it. Yeah. Because it, this, that was real. Yeah. It was yeah, 100% yeah. Real and not necessarily highlight Instagram where was no there was no highlight Instagram <laughs> yeah. there, but it was because it was so perfect. Yeah, it was uh, the uh, way it is. It's the way it is, and yeah. that hadn't changed. Yeah, I think a lot of the culture has changed, mm -hmm. but since I was a teenager and I had my confirmation, but mm -hmm. the the general tone. The awkwardness, the finding yourself, the breaking free from your parents, because of course you had to sit a long way off from mm. us because mm. oh. you can't hang out with your oh. grandma and aunt and because aunt. that's mm. kind of strange. Yeah, and I was just because you're a strong, independent ad adolescent. Yes, yes, it was just amazing to watch. Yeah, and they it, so it does exist. It's just that we don't see it. Yeah, because we see just a fraction of it. You see the like I say, you see the highlight of everything, but. Yeah. And like right now, it's because at the end of the year, you often, I look, watch a lot of sports and you have these athletes that you kind of see the highlight of the year when they, they won the world championship, they won the European championship. But you don't see, like, for instance, in running, the thousands of hours of running. Yeah. By yourself. By yourself. In the hot, in the cold, all the nasty shoes, the nasty blisters. And running, and running, and running, and running, and, all, and running. Yeah. You see 15 seconds of when you finish that that finish line, you know? Yeah, exactly. With your hand right, raised. That's what you see. And uh, it's just important to remember that when you look at everything online and you look at your own life. And you can also have that highlight Instagram. You just have to pick your spots. Yeah, you have to pick your spot. Exactly. Because your life is a highlight in some moments. That's the whole point. And... And, you know, I'm being visited by my dad. And he told me this joke that I thought was really funny because it's, it's so interesting. And the reason why these things, you'll understand why they, they, they hang together in a moment. And that is that, you know, you, you take out food and water for your dog. And mm -hmm. your dog looks up at you and says, wow, I'm getting food and water. You must be God. Right? And then you do the same thing for your cat, and your cat thinks, oh, oh my God, I'm getting food and water for free. I must be God. <laughs> Especially your cat thinks Oh, that. my cat. <laughs> for sure. They own, they own the world, right? So the, the point is, is that you, your perception of the way things are really does make a difference for you, you know, where you're coming from. And when you're constantly being fed an unrealistic or a highlight life and the realness of your surroundings escapes you the ideas of the way things should be get distorted so for example you know through your emotional work you still have highs and lows 
-hmm. You still have light and dark. Yes. You still have things that people try to take pharmaceutical products to avoid. Mm. You know, anxiety, panic, sadness, depression. Because anger. And anger. And and who's that? I I also have those. I also have those. I have all of the, the range of emotion because it's not about trying to only have happy moments because that would be a very flat life. Because if everything is given to you, think about this. If everything is given to you and everything's taken care of and every it's summer all the time, you never appreciate summer. No, we had that. I had that experience when I was in. in uh, I was twenty one, and we went to Bali for three months. Yeah. To 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 study. I actually studied. Don't like drinking, so I actually studied. Yes. Because <laughs> uh, then we had a beautiful spring in mm-hmm. Norway and a long summer. Like it was. It didn't rain. Mm-hmm. And then we went three months to Bali. Yeah. At the end there, I was so tired of sun. Oh yeah. It was just. I'm looking, and after that, I have really appreciated every like fall, spring. Season. Every season, yeah, I, I appreciate them so much more because that was not, it wasn't a good feeling. No, exactly. you, you didn't appreciate the warmth, the, you the start sun. avoiding the sun, yeah, you avoid it because it becomes too much, and that's it. And how can you be grateful when everything has always been given to you, everything's always maxed? You can't be grateful, and you're like, Oh, yes, I could. No, you couldn't. I mean, basically, look at the children of every rich person ever. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're not grateful because that's just the way it is. That's the way it is for me. I don't, you know, you give me presents. I always get presents. I wake up to the present, you know, it's like, how are you going to top last last week's presents? Because I'm already present up. Like, you know, go ahead. Mm. Try. Oh, you peasants, you know. So the point is, is that polarity is necessary and non-highlight understanding of life is necessary. So, let's say that you are a young female in America and you're looking for a mate. Oh, we're going into this. This has been the last three weeks. (laughs) Well, because this has to do with the highlight. This has to do with highlights, okay? Yeah. Because you ask ladies what they want and they're like... We are getting into the dating. We're not getting into the dating scenes, but Jason no, no. is trying to understand what our young boy friends are dealing with yes. and young female friends yeah. are dealing with. Because I sit down and I, I have conversations with very intelligent, very well oriented men and women, and sometimes in groups. And I am constantly <laughs> shocked at the stuff that they have to go through. I'm, I mean, my vocabulary has been expanded so much. Well, in I a way, mean, you have a, a something uh, that's called, is a Norwegian phrase, as most likely is in English as well, blicking. Oh, I have no idea what that is. Oh, you, yeah, you, t- you had to Google search it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, blicking, the, bitch the, blicking. The bitch, uh, the bitch face. No, no. You, 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 you bitch faced me. No, yeah, you have a bitch face. You are bitch blicking. Oh, yeah, bitch, bitch. Oh, I, what is it called? Yeah, yeah, yeah you understand. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, it's, like, it's so many phrases <laughs> that we don't and, understand. And sigma males <laughs> instead of alpha males, and there's sigmas, and there's simping, and there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on. And I'm like, we didn't have any of that when I was growing <laughs> up. Like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Either you were cool or not cool. Exactly. It's like, I need an edumacation right now, right? So, you know, and they were asking ladies, okay, ladies, you know, first of all, what do you want? And they're like, oh, it's pretty easy. You know, I want a man who cares. Okay, good. You want a man who cares? That's good. What else? Oh, well, he has to be over like 185 centimeters, like six feet tall. Okay. Yeah. And I want to, okay, what age range? Oh, you know, because these are young people. They're like, oh, what's someone between 20 and 35? It's like, oh, okay, good. Between 20 and 35. Mm-hmm. So in shape or not in shape? Oh, well, you know, we accept the whole dad bod thing. But, you know, to be quite honest, he's got to have a six pack. He's got to take care of the quote unquote. He must take care of himself, which means he should look like Jason Momoa. Let's be faint. Let's just. I, I agree to disagree there. You, but you, okay. can, you can agree to disagree. But 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 if, if, if you're going to have a dad bod calendar and you're going to have a Jason Momoa calendar, which one's going to sell? You know, I'm starting to, to go because I don't, I want a man. I don't want a boy toy. Oh yeah, that's true. And that's the difference. Yeah, yeah. 
I know. Well, sorry, I'm you're, getting this. He's triggering not, my buttons here because yeah, I'm not I'm, I'm not 20 years old anymore. <laughs> you're not 20, I'm like, right. nah, you know, if mm. I want a kind of a, a man, I don't want a boy anymore. Anyways, yeah. yes, yeah, that's true. Yes, anyways, true. yeah. So they, you need to have a good yeah. body. You gotta have a good body. You know, yeah, spend like, some hours in the gym, lift yeah, it. Spend some hours in the gym because I mean, in a way, that's a projection of your ability to work and be consistent. Okay, yeah. so that is, I understand that that is a signal for success in the future. But the other thing is that they want the, they want them to to make a hundred thousand dollars a year, and I'm like, okay, stop. So then we started looking around what the statistics of these things are. First of all, yeah, maybe if in Norway, Norway is the second tallest country in Europe. I don't represent very well there. Well. 162. Yeah, but potential and potential greatness, in and greatness, yes. greatness, your greatness is far, far, yes. far above that. But the point is, is that height, the average man here is almost six feet tall. Like when I go into a, um, when I go into a nightclub or whatever, and I'm dancing in the States, I can see over the crowd. Like there's no problem. I can see a couple of tall dudes, but I, I, I'm over the crowd here. I'm looking into people's ears. <laughs> you know, I'm like, wow. Yeah, you, tall. you don't look into people's armpits, do you? No, I don't. No. No, no. You don't spend much time on the dance floor. Now I know why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You kind of get the whole uh, showering thing. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. mm. So you're basically talking about 20% of the population of the United States. You, you're already cutting them down to 20%. Mm. Okay. Then you have to look for the guys who have a six pack. And of the guys that are that tall, there's going to be probably, and if you look around, even in your 20s, guys, I mean, seriously, look down, look at your stomach, probably another 20% of you guys have a six pack, right? Unless you're doing athletics. And unfortunately, before everybody did a little bit of training and everybody did a little bit of movement, but now you're either an athlete or you're not. Mm. Face it, you're, most guys in their 20s are gaming, okay? That doesn't give you a six pack. Unless you're really serious, and then you train like a pro athlete. But that's another thing. And then you look at how many people between the ages of 20 and 35 are making $100,000 a year. None. Like, we're talking about a half of 1%. And that's who all the girls want. But they don't have time for girlfriends, do they? Ah, if you're making $100,000 as a 25-year-old, you're working your ass off so hard. And you go to the gym, apparently. And you go to the gym. You don't have time to meet girls. Where are these girls going to meet these guys? Oh, he's going to find me. No, he's not. He's he doesn't not. have time to find you. He doesn't have time. Like, those things don't go together. Like, and this is this whole point that people, I want a guy with a six-pack, but he has to be more focused on me than working out. No six pack. I want a guy who ha makes a hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay, but he he has to be more focused on me than working. Out. Not going to happen because those things don't go in the same equation. It's like, like Donald Trump talking, talking. It's like those the three things that he mentioned should never go in the same sentence because they're contradictory. And there's some guy out there like, I have a six pack, bro, and I have it all, you know, but you're not meeting girls, bro. That's the way it is. If, if you have all these things. So the highlight life is starting to distort the way we understand the world so that we don't understand how, how things connect. What is necessary? What is necessary for those things? We get disconnected from reality, Right. And that's difficult because then... Yeah, because they... what I imagine these ladies that were... Because this was as, as a research thing in the States, mm -hmm. right? That they look at Instagram. That's exactly... And because of you, you it feeds yes. on what you feed on. You yes. only see highlights. Yeah. You, you get more of what you look at. And most dating today is online. Most so dating... in a, Oh, it makes it so much easier. My heart just goes out to, to everybody. Sorry, you just have to maintain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? It, it requires work. Yeah. yeah oh, it, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's kind of... But you can be married and get a six-pack and make millions. Yeah. You can. But 
you can't pretty much find a worthy relationship while you're doing all the other stuff unless that person is directly related to those activities. Yeah, but that was uh, talking about relationships now because uh, Eirik, my husband, he, mm -hmm. he listened to podcasts right when you listened to these research things. Yeah. And I, I, I'm not going to phrase it exactly like it was because I didn't listen to it. But um, it was this It was this big, it was a woman group having this podcast with women, about women, for female and everything. Good, good. And he said they that the ladies, they, they wanted to be treated like queens. Mm. and uh, the man should take care of them and worship them and all that and I said just looked at him said so I, I, to my husband I said they're not queens they're princesses mm -hmm. exactly and shame on those ladies for misusing the name queen mm -hmm. because it's a big difference between a queen and a princess I said, mm -hmm. I said what do you mean well a princess is worse is 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 is, is um, taken care of and lifted everywhere and doesn't get mud on her face and yeah. on her shoes. And on her shoes, it doesn't have any responsibility. No, she doesn't have any responsibility. Exactly. And she's just, catered to. She's catered to. She's, she's lifted on mm -hmm. a cloud everywhere mm -hmm. she, she goes. A queen, she gets fucking dirty. She gets, she gets, she has if, to. If it's plumbing that's needed and yeah. no one can pl do that plumbing, she does the plumbing. Yeah. I said, you have to understand it's different. A, a king and queen is different than prince and princesses. Yes. And it's a lot of princes and princesses out there yes. that misuse the word king and queen. Yep. And mm. you have to be a queen in your own life if you want to accomplish anything. Yeah. A queen will take a man and make him a king. Yes. That's the point, guys and girls. If you are a queen, find a man who has potential and make him a king in your life. And the issue is if you are a princess wanting a king, a king doesn't want a princess. A king doesn't have time for a princess. Exactly. And I think I just got, I have to just mention it because I got so pissed. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, right. they're calling them queens. They're not queens, they're princesses. Yeah, if that. Oh, they are very princesses. Oh, very okay. princesses. Okay, very princesses. Very much so. Yeah, right? <laughs> so very it's deserving. just, we have to, mm. you have to, you can be, be queen or princess, but you have to use that word correctly. And we as females have to use those words cor cor words correctly because there is a big difference of being, being a queen and a princess. That's it. And, and it also sorry. when you go out and you go on a date and all that, that's a, that's a jungle in itself. Mm -hmm. And I don't think, I have no understand, I don't understand how people can meet each other. And I had this conversation with, with a friend of ours because he, he didn't like the whole swiping left and right things. No, he has a girlfriend after swiping left and right. Yes. It's but <laughs> before that. All the guys around us. Well, they got Tinder and they swipe they, and they Yeah, they meet swipe them. and meet people. Like yeah. that's the way it happens now. It's because crazy. he tried it the old-fashioned way to go up and talk to a lady, and she freaked out. Yeah, exactly. Because I haven't swiped on you. <laughs> she she freaked out. And I said, well, I do understand that, but at the same time, that's very sad. Yeah, it's very sad. So the only way you have is kind of swiping, or you have to have good friends that are good at getting gathering people so yeah. you can meet them or you need to go to something social events, and, that's, and then you can meet someone. And that's actually something that's happening less and less. People don't do social gatherings as much as they used to. It used to be the thing that you, okay, that we're going over to Frank's house this weekend. Now you're booked, but you may be booked online. You may be booked doing something else. You want to have some of your, you know, personal time. People are together less and less because of COVID, because of the mobile phone, and because everything's been displaced. We still have not recovered. And it's very interesting that meeting people, meeting people, at your friend's house is less and less. Yeah, you can't do the background check on them anymore. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you have to do that before you can meet them. Yeah, it's really interesting. So I'm just saying that, you know, my friends love you long time, and I have very respect for the challenges of modern dating scenes and all of this. And because the portal for meeting people is so objectifying, to have a non-objectifying relationship to the opposite sex is very difficult because guys become six packs and cute haircuts, an age range, and an income. And women become the, the thirst trap. 
And that's a that's a phrase I never have you I, heard that? I'm, I, I'm like shaking, nodding yeah, I, my head, going, "What is he talking about?" A third, you know the you know the, the 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 booty pictures and all this stuff on Instagram that people are just throwing themselves out there. If you go on Twitter or not Twitter, but uh, t- Tinder, Tinder, and you're looking at some of the profile pictures, you're like, you would never put something like that. Uh, that picture is so it's so much. You're exposing so much. Like, and what did you call that? A thirst trap. A thirst trap. Yeah. I'm, you see, I'm trying to level up. I'm yeah, trying to integrate okay. myself into into modern culture. It is not easy for people to figure this stuff out because ladies become. But now we're starting to get into the juicy stuff that we actually need a new podcast to make because then you get into the whole the conversation we had with all the boys. Yes, and I about, had a new one upstairs yeah, yesterday, by the way. Yeah, mm. I, I heard rumors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, about about having um, mm-hmm. not sex after marriage. That would, but be able to talk about sex before you have sex. Yeah, you have to be able, honestly, if you're going to have a respectful relationship with somebody, you should be able to at least talk about what you like and don't like before you have the sex. Yeah, but it's, it's, this is so, it's, it's, this subject is so insane. And I heard like a month ago, it was this big Norwegian influencer that went online and said that if... I can't. I, I said you can never say those words, Jason. I said, remember that. Yeah, I can't remember yeah but words. anyway, she said something. If, if you use a condom, you're a bad, bad word. Like, oh, you, you, yeah, we can't. We're not saying that word. I yeah, said, yeah, we're not yeah, propagating never. that idea. No, but and you can't ever say those words. Shame yeah. on her for saying yeah. that. And I was sitting there and just like we, we have no clue what we're dealing with anymore because we're in the whole phase of men and. Women being the same, I'm like, yeah, we're this, we're, we have the same worth. And that's what I like about the conversation we had around, have around this subject is that we are, we, men and women, we have the same worth, but we're not the same. Not the same. And trying to make us the same is just horrible. Absurd. It, it, absurd. it just doesn't fit. No, it's, it's Being in ridiculous. a man-dominated profession for six years, I tried to be a man for so long that I'm never doing that again. <sighs> It doesn't work. You, I mean, you did well. I did by the very way. well. Yeah, you were awesome. But like, it, but I, I would have done just as well being who I am way instead better. of uh, trying to to be a guy. And with all you're this, you're an awesome man. You're an exceptional this, uh, woman. Throwing your booty out there and not understanding what you live live with. And we're going to come back to this conversation later. Yes. Because it's a whole. We need some boys in here to have it. Because it's always Ooh, very fun to have juicy. it with the boys. Uh, they've How been awkward. They, they've been mm. uh, barbecued <laughs> on these questions before. Roasted. It's just uh, yeah. so we're going to bring them in for it. Uh, but um, when you, t- you we had this conversation, and again, going to come back to it. But we had a conversation, me, you, and Rutger on the, in an airport <laughs> once, and you said, "Do you know that when a guy comes in you, he sticks in you forever?" And my my whole ovaries just went. Rrr! Yeah, no, no. <laughs> and uh, and but people don't understand that that yeah. you have their DNA in you forever. Yeah, it becomes and a part of, of your uterine uter- lining. And yeah. that when you start to understand that, yeah, you start kind of not everybody you want to have with you for the rest of your life. Yeah, it's not okay. Exactly, but I mean, so much to look forward to twenty twenty three. You know, it's like kind of like uh, no, I, I you know I'm gonna not go there because I just opened up a whole can of worms in my head that I don't think people are ready for yet. No, we're gonna but let's let's see we're gonna have a in, mm-hmm. once in 2023 you're gonna come a very interesting podcast. Yes, our poor or good boyfriends, boy friends, boy friends. Friend, and, and I, I don't have a boy. I have a wife. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> friend that's boys and my husband. Yes, yes exactly. <laughs> gonna get fried. Thank you. Yeah, they're gonna get they're roasted. Gonna get fried because mm-hmm. it's it's a very interesting con, very interesting conversation to have, and both for men to understand what power they have. Actually, they don't yes. have to be, be run by it. Yep. And for women to understand what they're actually given. Yes. And I think that is uh, all jokes aside, it's very empowering and very very important and it's something that we need to own up to all of us especially yes. in today's society when it's swipe and swipe and unswipe and yeah and and this also comes to another point and that is that from an ancient perspective our life force and our sexual relation 
is the power of creation. And our attitude and connection through those things and our relationship to that act very much determines how we relate to our life otherwise. So that a man is uselessly wasting his spiritual energy, quote unquote, by watching porn or by whatever, that he's not using that energy productively. That in itself, if you're just going to look away from the spiritual aspect, but you're going to look at the self-discipline aspect of it, that is that being able to wait to pleasure yourself, to wait for something like a reward, to be able to control yourself when it's exciting, to be able to choose when and how you use your energy instead of just letting it go whenever it happens. Do you think those behaviors will help you be a more efficient and better productive human? Mm -mm. Of course. Even if you look away from this, the, the whole, the, the woo-woo, the, the, the spiritual, woo -woo stuff, it, the spiritual yeah. part of it, the whole... Postponed gratification. Postponed gratification, which is directly linked to a better life. Because if you have to blow your wad, and we're talking financially here, so you don't get all upset. If you have to throw your money at everything that's shiny, you're never going to have a money. healthy financial <laughs> life. You're never <laughs> going to have, have money. money. <laughs> exactly. And you're you, need have... to, you need to buy everything that pops out on one wish. Exactly. And your, your house is going to be filled with trash. And is it a healthy thing for society that you're perpetuating a industry that's creating trash and then taking the stuff that they buy using gas to get it to your house from China, filling your, your house up. And then when you move to your next house, you just throw it at the, you throw it in the trash because you don't have room for it because you're upgrading your life and you shouldn't have bought it in the first place. And that money could have been used for buying your new house. I mean, think about it, guys. A lot of these behaviors, they are a holographic representation to your relationship, to your life and your energy. Ladies, you should know that you're taking things into you. Oh, this is so interesting. You should understand that those things are with you and you will have to deal with them either from an actual physical aspect or psychically, meaning that the interaction and the lack of commitment and all of the weirdness that comes from two ships bumping in the night where you actually have <laughs> all of the responsibility. It's not that far away from filling your mind and heart with all the trash that you're scrolling past on Instagram. Are you filtering at all what you're taking into your mind and what actually is sitting there as a residue? The, the mind the geometry of the thoughts, the filters that get put on your head because you see everybody has Botox and fillers. Do you think that that's going to make it more likely for you to think you need that shit? Of course it is. Especially when you're just doing it unconsciously. So, words to the wise. Your relationship to that is your relationship to so many beautiful things in your life. Have a healthy relationship, please. And it's not just good for you, but it's good for everybody. It's crazy. Have a for that less mess. So remember, you matter. Unless you multiply yourself by the speed of light squared, then your energy. But if you can't be energy, matter. Thank you for listening to our podcast. We hope you felt we added something to your day and hopefully your life. If you want to learn more, subscribe to our newsletter and find us at integrated-human.com. That is integrated-human.com. Integrated Human on YouTube and other social media platforms. Have a great day and thank you again for listening. Love, light and upgrade from us at the Integrated Human team.